This week's Parsha, Parsha Lech Lecha, Avram Avinu receives a divine command to leave uh, his homeland, places where he was born and brought up, and come to Eretz Yisrael. Shortly after he arrives in Eretz Yisrael, he, there is a famine. These famines used to happen from time to time. And he decides on his own to go down to Egypt where there's food. He takes his decision on his own. And the question is, was that the right thing to do? We have a very interesting uh, difference of opinion between two of the great Jewish scholars and commentators in the Torah from the Middle Ages, the Ramban and the Ralbag. And by the way, there's a, there are reports, I'm not sure if they're verified or if they can be verified, that the Ralbag was actually the Ramban's grandson though he actually uh, spent his life in south of France and the Ramban was uh, <clears throat> the Uri of Chiron of Spain, but that's not a, a big issue. Uh, the Ramban actually says three things about this episode, which each of them requires explanation. They're not that easy to reconcile uh, with one another. The first is that the Abrahams going down to Egypt prefigures the descent of Yaakov to Egypt and, of course, the beginning of the Egyptian bondage. Uh, and this is part of a uh, fairly uh, a, a strong element in, in the Ramban's understanding of the Breshik, where he takes Masa Avot Simon the Banim in a very interesting way as that the the Avot, Avram for example, was told to physically uh, explore, uh, travel through the land and in that way take some sort, take possession in some sense of the land for his descendants. That's what we call prefiguring. Similarly, when he went down to Egypt, he was actually laying down the route, laying down the future journey of his grandson Yaakov. Then he says that it was a sin, a sin on on Avram's part to uh, go down to Egypt and 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 then of course then to say that the Sarah was his sister. He should have had what we call emuna, and just what emuna means is something that varies over time and space. And I don't really know what it means today. It seems to mean a lot of things. Other people use the word without really thinking about what it means. But the Rambania has a clear, clear idea what it means. It means that since he had come to Eretz Yisrael in fulfillment of, of God's command, he should have stayed there and had a muna that he would have been saved even in the midst of a, of a famine, a life-threatening famine. And then he goes on and says the third thing, which is that the Israel's bondage, the bondage to Paro, was a sort of a quid pro quo uh, punishment for Abraham letting, you know, uh, saying that Sarah was a sister of letting Paro uh, take uh, Sarah into his palace. Uh, now, uh, okay, so that's his understanding of Amuna. His understanding of Amuna is that when you have come to a certain place where God told you to be, you don't leave it no matter what. And if it seems that only a miracle can save you, and in days of harsh famine, so many which which took so many lives, that would have been the case. You wait and expect for a miracle. That's the Ramban. The Ralbag has an entirely different, absolutely contradictory understanding. He praises Abraham for going down to Egypt. He says this is a, 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 a moral lesson that we should all take to heart. And one of the lessons that we can learn from the Parsha is that you have to take care of your basic bodily needs. You can't live without food. If you're in a place that's in a very severe famine and there's a place not that far away where you can go and food is abundant, then you must go there. It's not a question uh, 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 of uh, of not paying attention to God's 
uh, messages to him and his and his personal calling. Quite the contrary, in order to fulfill the mission that God had given him to, or that he had actually taken upon himself to spread the knowledge of the one and only true God in a time when this was unheard of and everyone was, uh, you know, deeply involved in, in, in uh, uh, polytheism and, and, and paganism and idolatrous practices. But that, that, was his, that was his calling. And you can't, I mean, he, he was still a human being. You can't do this without eating. He will, you won't, stay, you won't be able to live if you don't eat. So you're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing to go down to Egypt and save your own neck and wear, weather out the famine, and then come back to Eretz Israel and spread, uh, continue your mission of the Krob Hashem Hashem El Olam to spread, preach in the name of the one and only God. So we have here two very, very different understandings of what emuna, faith, means. For the Ramban, it's very much what we call blind faith. It means that I will, you know, I will do things that for an ordinary, in the eyes of an ordinary human being, look reckless and dangerous. But I have blind faith that because I am righteous and trying to do spread, you know, God's name, that God will save me. I will expect a miracle. Ral Bug says, Emuna, faith, basically means faith in your mission, which is the mission to spread God's name. But you know, the things that you as a flesh and blood human being need, such as food, are, you know, that's something that you've got to take care of. And if, if there's a famine, then you go somewhere else where you can, you know, get the, 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 the food you need. And then when the famine is over, go back to Eretz Yisrael. I dare take sides in this and side with the Ralbag, and not just because I, you know, don't put much stock in, in, in these, you know, you know, I'm going to just go out and do, you know, I'm sure that, that God has sent me to do this, so I'm going to do something reckless and, and he'll save me. That We know that that's not a very wise policy, but I can actually prove this from the Torah because when, when, when Avram's son Yitzchak also experienced the famine, and apparently he was debating with himself whether he should also go down to Egypt, which are, where there was food, he received a special commandment, a commandment from God, Alterate Mitzrayma, Gorbaratzot, don't go to Egypt. So for here we learn that if there was really some special extra divine message, extra divine command to stay in Eretz Yisrael, even in the face of the famine, Avram probably would have received it. He didn't receive any, any direction from God as to how to manage the famine. And so he took on his own initiative uh, the steps of going down to Egypt and, you know, uh, weathering out the famine. Uh, so I think that this is uh, an interesting uh, debate and I think at the at the very least, before you know, we start talking about you know Amuna and building Amuna and strengthening Amuna, think you know what it is. Just what it is we have faith in. Are we having faith that, that God will save me uh, if I'm doing you know what I think to be the, the right thing, even though I'm doing something reckless? Or does it mean I have faith in my mission, in my personal mission, in my communal mission? Uh, uh, to you know, to to spread the truth and try to get people on the right track, but that doesn't. But you know, but for the ordinary needs of a human being, uh, I've got to take care of myself. Think about it, and Shabbat Shalom.